Hi fam, it's Erica with Not Your Average EDC, and today we are going to look at a very special knife that just got here yesterday. This. This was made possible by a couple of my brothers in the community. I had no idea they were doing this. Uh, this is a completely modified and improved Native 5 Lightweight from Spyderco in Rex 45. But as you can see, it does not look normal at all. It is completely upgraded. So today I just want to show you guys what Anthony did to this knife to make it possible, to make it better, to make it improved. And um, yeah, we're just going to talk about first impressions of this because it is out of this world. I cannot explain how incredible this is. And all of the improvements make so much sense. Like, Anthony's a genius. So, um, I have a paper right here that he typed up that says everything that he did to modify this knife. So, we're going to go over it really quick. And then we'll kind of just talk about the first impressions, what I think about those modifications. So, uh, he reground the blade to 0 .008 BTE, BTE near the Ricasso and tapered it to 0 .012 at the tip, um, chamfered the jimping on the blade so the corners aren't sharp, softened all of the hard edges on the FRN, which is like honestly one of the biggest game changers. Um, this knife literally feels like you're holding air at this point in a good way. Um, softened the texture on the handle underneath the clip so it doesn't tear up your pocket, deburred the clip. Uh, love that. Sandblasted the clip and all of the hardware, which looks seriously incredible. Um, it is all sandblasted, which looks really, really cool. Thinned out the lock bar spring so it takes less force to operate, something I would have never thought of. Uh, hot vinegar, force patinaed the blade, reprofiled the blade to 15 DPS, using a Veneve 400 and 2 micron basswood strop. Polished the lock bar interface on the blade and the spring interface on the lock bar and dyed the scales forest green. So those are all of the improvements that Anthony did to this. Um, from my understanding, a guy named Ben, who I have recently met through the community, bought this from GP Knives and had it directly shipped to Anthony, who then did all of the modifications on it. So, uh, let's just talk about the first impressions. I haven't used it yet, so literally not a review, just first impressions. It looks cosmetically stunning. So we have four screen scales dark gray blade with, you can kind of see the grind lines, which I honestly love. Everything sandblasted. It looks absolutely incredible. Um, like I said, the grinding or the sanding, I should say, of the scales. Holy crap. This feels so comfortable, and now when I hold a normal native, the normal one feels like a piece of shit in terms of the sharp edges. Um, like, they're so... Now that I have seen the other side, this is so noticeable. And honestly, that's a really easy mod that basically anyone can do. Just take sandpaper and smooth out these, these edges if you have a Native 5 Lightweight. Um, I'm telling you right now, sanding those down and rounding them feels like gold. Uh, he ground this thin, guys. I mean, if you thought the native was slicey before, uh, it is very thin now. <laughs> I mean, this is crazy. Look at that edge, too. Look at it just shining. Like, this is gonna be such a blast to use. Uh, taking it in and out of pocket, fantastic. Action is still silky smooth, which can be a huge issue when you dye these scales or when you mess with the blade and try to put a force patina on it, sometimes taking that blade out and etching it and then putting it back in makes it gritty. This one's this one's not. It's it's still silky smooth. So Anthony definitely knows what he's doing. Um, guys, I love this. I love all of these mods. I love how it came out. 
I can't even express how grateful I am that I have people in the community that just want to do things like that for me. Um, so what I'm going to do is actually test this with my Rex 45 Para 3 Lightweight because um, this month we're testing that for a week and I'll throw this in with it. That way side by side we can see if you really are unlocking the full potential of Rex 45 when you have it way thinner ground. Because that's Anthony's um, hypothesis is that like even though the Para 3 Lightweight in Rex 45 is thin and slicey, this is way thinner, and he seems to think that it's it kind of like unlocks what Rex 45 has to offer even more. So I'm super excited to use this up against my Para 3 Lightweight near the end of the month. We'll do them side by side, see which one we like better, but I just wanted to show this to you guys because it's so incredible. Um, the generosity in this community is pretty wild, and it's so strange. We're going through a really weird time right now, Everyone on Instagram is selling their gear. Everyone is saying that they're leaving the platform. Everyone's saying that they're done and they're moving on to different hobbies. And it's really sad because this community has so much to offer. It's so great. There are people that just want to do shit like this all the time. And I know that Instagram's algorithm can be super frustrating and people are just so done trying to get their posts seen. Um, it sucks right now. But if you can ride it out and just wait like, please do, because it will get better, and everyone's selling their entire collection right now, and it's just, I get it, times are tough, people need money, but it's kind of a bummer to see people dipping out of the community, because then you have people like this, who are still there, and you're not experiencing that anymore. It's really hard to experience this, this type of generosity and kindness in the real world, so I'm just grateful that I'm still here. Um, ben and Anthony and anyone else that had anything to do with this, thank you guys. Thank you so much for getting this done for me. I can't wait to test it and use it. This is never leaving the collection. This is something very special here. But um, have a great day, guys. I got to go to work. Use your shit. Do something kind for someone, as Zach would say. And I will see you on the next video. Love you all.